So last year we started seeing a lot of budget phones. Now I'm gonna use the word budget very loosely because what may be a budget phone for me may not be a budget phone for you. This is the Honor 6X and I was able to pick this up at CES during the Huawei press event and we actually got to get this for free which is kind of cool. Been using this for about a couple of days now and I really like this phone. It's priced at $250 which is actually in my opinion considered a budget phone. Really nice design. I love how sleek it is. The overall just fit and finish of this phone is really good for 250 bucks. Now it does come with two rear facing cameras, a fingerprint reader and a couple of other cool features which I'll talk about in a second. It is running Android 6.0, not the latest version of Android. So for some people that may be a deal breaker. But let's talk about those features that I said. So this has a fingerprint reader and like Huawei and their skin which I'm personally not a fan of but some people may be. It's okay just drop Nova Launcher and we're good there. You're able to do a lot of different things with this fingerprint reader. For example, you can swipe down, get all of your notifications, and we've seen this before on other Huawei phones. You can also take a picture. So for example, if you want to take a selfie or if you just want to take a regular picture, all you need to do is press on that fingerprint reader and it snaps a picture. You can browse your photos by swiping on the fingerprint reader. So the fingerprint reader itself has a lot of uses. One of my favorite features is the app lock. And I can't tell you how I wish this was a standard Android feature to be able to take an app and lock it with your fingerprint. Say for example, Instagram. Let's just say I don't want anybody being able to use that app. I can go into the settings and app lock that particular app. So whenever somebody tries to open it, they would need to use my fingerprint or I would need to unlock the phone. Now I'm not a huge fan of Huawei skin. They do claim that you can get up to two days of battery life. Now this is probably due to their optimization and they do have some power saving modes, but in my testing, I didn't try those. I just did normal usage and I was able to get through the whole entire day. So for what it's worth, if I have to deal with their skin to be able to get that much battery life, I'm okay with it. So let's talk about those cameras. This has two rear facing cameras and we're starting to see a trend here with these smartphones having dual rear facing cameras. We have the iPhone 7 Plus, we have the LG V20, or even Huawei's Honor 8 also has dual facing or dual rear facing cameras. Now here's the thing, this also has selective focus like the Honor 8. So same thing, you're able to tap to focus and the best part about it is that you can also change the aperture. So you can go from f0.95 all the way to f16. And what's neat about it is after you take the picture, let's say for example, you don't want the foreground to be in focus, you want the background, you can go ahead and change that after the fact, which is really cool so it's kind of nice to see budget phones being able to have this type of features and personally for me I think on this particular phone Huawei does need to improve on it because it doesn't work as good as the Honor 8 I think the software is a little bit janky but Again, this is a budget phone, so hopefully they can improve on that with a software update. Now, speaking of software, this phone is very quick, and that's pretty much expected nowadays with most Android phones. So this is a department where I really wouldn't worry. Now, here's one thing about the screen. It's very nice, very good looking panel. The colors are very accurate, but it's not as bright. So if you're gonna be using this in direct sunlight, that may be a deal breaker to some. So for 250 bucks, you get a lot of phone for your money. Great looking phone, great design, great software experience, 32 gigabytes of internal storage, and also you get dual SIM card support. I mean, what more can you ask for? But here's the thing, how much more are you willing to pay to get more features on a phone? That's really the question. Let me know in the comments section down below. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Also, follow me on Snapchat for behind the scenes. Thanks again for watching, and you will catch me in the next one. Adios.